For more on the US election and what Australia thinks of the candidates, we're joined now by visiting Professor Simon Jackson from the US Studies Centre. Good morning, Simon, and Good thanks morning. for your time. A fascinating subject. You've just conducted a survey on how Australians feel about the US election and it seems surprisingly, overwhelmingly, for Obama. Yeah, our Australian respondents, uh, there's no doubt about where they line up. Uh, our phone survey, 7613. Obama over McCain, our internet survey uh, 60 to 14 uh, mm. Obama McCain, uh, big numbers for and Obama. How much do Australians really know about the candidates and their policies? Because for the US domestic policy, particularly with the financial crisis, is so important. We, like Europe, tend to look at what the foreign policy is all about because that's what affects us mostly. Yeah, well, we, what we saw in these data is really striking. We saw Australians with actually relatively high levels of information about what's going on in mm -hmm. the States. Uh, plenty of um, our Australian respondents picking up on the, on the economic troubles in the United States. Plenty of, uh, of our Australian respondents, just like our American respondents, thinking that America's on the wrong track. There's one of the things that we see in, in these data, there's a tremendous amount of synchronicity uh, between the two countries in terms of what people here are saying about the States and what people in the States themselves are saying about their own country. Well, they're understanding globalisation, obviously, Absolutely. and the impact here on what happens over there. That's right, yeah. What about the, the meanings of that particular survey? Do you think we can read anything into it about whether we in Australia are prepared, for example, to elect an Aboriginal Prime Minister oh, or a female Prime Minister? Can anything be drawn along those no, lines? No, well, I think that's a, that's a big stretch. Yeah. And indeed, I think it's a big stretch even with respect to the American data. I think Obama is an incredible candidate. He happens to be African-American. Mm. But I think if he wins, and I think he will, I think there'll be a big temptation to say, race is off America's back now. I really think that would be a, a bit of a stretch. I think this is more about the times we live in, Obama being just an exceptional candidate rather than a, a sea change in the way Americans are thinking about race. OK, because that was, I think, one of the early feelings that, uh, particularly in Europe as well, when he attracted that massive rally over there, the Europeans are always a little softer on foreign policy in, in the eyes of the Republicans yes. and certainly in the eyes of the Democrats. And a lot of people felt that was the way to go because uh, the, the hardline approach from the Bush administration wasn't perceived as being successful. That's right. We're seeing a lot of that in our day to um, Barack Obama widely thought to be a better leader for America in terms of uh, how he'll improve America standing around the world. Mm -hmm. Most of our Australian respondents think McCain would be a riskier choice uh, than Barack Obama. A tremendous goodwill uh, towards uh, the United States, but also imagining the United States led by Barack Obama. That's the message we're getting from our Australian respondents, the sort of America they'd like to see in the years ahead. Getting back to the synchronicity point, I did sure. read Obama's book, Audacity of Hope, yes. where it was basically a, a policy statement. And one of the major things that stood out was the fact that he was trying to bring right and left together. Yes. He was stepping more to the centre. And I kept seeing and reading echoes of the ALP campaign <laughs> of the previous election. That's right. Do you think people drew that comparison as well? And that's why he's so popular here. Yes, I, I think, well, and, and popular in the United States too. I think we live in extraordinary times uh, when we, at least Americans are. Um, we've never seen numbers like this in the history of that. You, you track this number called right track, wrong track. 80% mm -hmm. of Americans tell you their country's on the wrong track. 60% uh, of Americans say they're ashamed of the United States. They're mm. angry about things that the United States has done. So we're seeing, tr that's more than half the population, we're seeing people who would traditionally lean in a Republican direction, they're saying it's time for change, that they're profoundly unhappy with the direction of the country. And so there's this broad coalition that spans both l left and right that want, that want to do things differently. We're, we're coming up on a, on a big change uh, in the United States for that well, reason. It sets up a fascinating day next week and hopefully we'll catch up with you and talk about it when it's over. Oh, that would be Jackson. terrific. Look Thank you very that. much. Thank you.